You can let people know that you're busy or away by setting your status in Teams. The small coloured dot on your profile will indicate if you're available or not. Because Teams syncs with your Outlook calendar, it will automatically set your status for you if you have a meeting or a call scheduled. However, you can manually set it yourself. To do this, click on your profile picture. In my case, it's my headshots, which is located in the top right hand side of Teams. A drop down menu will appear and you can choose from the list. You can also update your status from the search bar. If you type in forward slash, then either away, busy, DND, which stands for do not disturb, BRB, which stands for be right back, or available, then press enter. Your status will automatically change. Here is a run through of what each status means. Available is what you should set your status to if you're active on Teams and you do not have anything in your calendar at that particular time. It's worth noting that Teams will automatically set your status from available to away when you lock your computer or when it enters idle or sleep mode. If you use the Teams app on your mobile phone, then this will happen if the app is in the background. Busy should be used when you want to focus on a task, but you do want notifications to pop up. If you're in a meeting or on a call, Teams will automatically change your status to in a meeting. If you're on a call, it will be changed to busy when it's not been set to do not disturb. Do not disturb is for when you want to focus. This will stop notifications from popping up. Be right back is when you want people to know that you're temporarily away from your desk. This status is never set automatically. Appear away is when you need to work without responding straight away. And finally, offline is what you are when you are not signed into Teams. Now this is not a status you set, but it is a present status that you might see in a chat or channel conversation.